Okay, Bethel team, I need you up front with me. Hallelujah. Now that I had you, everybody sit down. I need everybody to stand up. Hallelujah. You're going to get your aerobics in before the night's over, I guarantee you. Glory. Join with me as we declare the releasing of the kingdom of God upon this earth right tonight. Father, we reach into heaven. We pull down who you are. Father, we position ourselves before your throne of grace tonight. We say yes. We say yes to what you have for us. We invite you to permeate the very atmosphere. Father, fill the air that we breathe with your presence. Holy Spirit, come. Come as never before. Invade this place. Lord, take us from glory to glory tonight. Be exalted. Be exalted. Father, we come for no other reason than the name of your son, Jesus. So we lift him up tonight and we declare that his name is above all names. And Jesus, we receive what you have for us tonight. We welcome you with open arms. We open our hearts to receive. Father, eyes to see and ears to hear. Lord, Lord, be exalted. Be exalted. Hallelujah. Now, where are my people that are going to release prophetic? Are you one of them? All right, you got it. All right, Bethel team is going to release over us right now. Yeah, Jesus, we just like declare tonight's just a night of victory that the enemy is shaking in his boots right now of just knowing the power and the strongholds that are being torn down in this very moment that they're already regretting this night before it's happened for the amount of breakthrough and the strongholds that are being torn down right now in Jesus' name. God, thank you so much that you are holy and you are righteous and you are pure and you have set us apart for encounters tonight. Lord, for encounters tonight, you are going to meet your people and you are going to love your people unlike anything they've ever experienced in their lives, Father. They are going to experience your liquid love tonight. Yeah, Jesus, I just say thank you that you are here in this place. I say thank you, God, just for your presence. The enemy has come to steal, kill, and destroy, but God, you are in this place tonight and you are coming to give life and to give encounters with your love, Jesus. Yes. <laughs> Jesus, I just declare that we'll see the face of Jesus tonight. It's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you. We're here for you. I just declare tonight will be a night of intimacy and worship. And as we were driving up in the spirit, I saw so many rainbows intersecting on the whole drive up. And God just kept saying, hope, hope. He's releasing hope over this area, this region, and all of, all of Washington and the whole Northwest, he's releasing hope. The intersection of his hope and his promises, and it comes from a foundation of intimacy, intimacy with the Father. Yeah, I see God is breaking off mental illnesses tonight. He's breaking off suicide. He's breaking off depression tonight. I declare Jesus is bringing new levels of energy to people. He's covering people in their sleep. In Jesus' name, we declare this. I can see that there is a new wave coming. There is a new wave coming. Jesus, I just want to release your power your presence in this place like never before we are waiting for you jesus we love you jesus thank you for your glory amen yes lord let joy erupt in this place tonight yeah that there will be just joy bombs on everyone in this room. Yeah, just joy erupt in this room. 
Holy Spirit, would you invade? Would you just come right now and just touch, start touching people? That the joy of the Lord would be so real tonight that you would feel the real joy of the Lord. That you would start <laughs> laughing. Mm. Yeah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, that tonight is a night of hope and destiny. That tonight is a night ordained and anointed. Thank you, Jesus. We're just going to enter in. We're going to enter in to his gates with praise and thanksgiving.
remember how I would find you on the forested floors of my family farm and we would wander that world with no ceilings finding beauty beneath branches that stretch like fingers pointing only at your diamond eyes and I remember when I gave my youth away I would find you in my dreams and I would call you my relief though it seemed the moments that you spoke to me were few and far between and I remember when I first called myself a man. I traded my textbooks for paychecks and plans and my world grew small under sinking ceilings and cubicle walls. I remember the day I couldn't find you at all. I remember the pain and I remember my fall. And dear God, do I remember when heaven's vengeance fall <laughs> with the fury of a wrecking ball. I remember his response to my call neither apathy or anger but furiously love catching my furious fall i remember the zeal in his eyes and i remember being surprised when my waterlogged beliefs and cumbersome theology couldn't save me from the depth of my depravity it took a shipwreck on the shores of grace to find my new reality in the shadow of his face he is not a life raft he is the sea itself I do not await eternity to find myself in glory. I have found it here. His name is Jesus. We do not await eternity to find ourselves in glory. We have found it here. His name is Jesus. We do not await eternity to find ourselves in glory. We have found it here. His name is Jesus. You are freedom, and you are right here. You are so close. Thank you. Thank you. for we love you we 
You're the only way You're the only truth You're the life and you came for us And we're here to say we love you And we thank you for dying for us
cheek to cheek, face to face. That's where I'll be, face to face, heart to heart, cheek to cheek.
It's not about the room. It's not about the meeting. It's about him. It's about his spirit. Bye. 
tasted life Nothing satisfies like you do The fountain won't run dry Nothing satisfies Tasted life and nothing satisfies like you do. The fountain that won't run dry, nothing satisfies like you do. Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, can we thank him? Come on, Jesus. You are our very breath. You are the fountain of all life. You flow out of us. We have our life and our being because of you. Jesus, we want to just thank you. Okay, will everybody just lay their hand on their belly, on their heart, actually, right in their, their belly heart here, where it all comes from. You there? Lord, we worship you in spirit and truth. Oh, we thank you, Lord God, that you are here tonight. And Lord, we ask right now in spirit and truth that you will come. You will come and you'll just undo us and everything you want to do by spirit and truth. Lord, now we just release your spirit and we release your truth in this place tonight, Lord God. We declare, Lord God, we are not satisfied without the touch of you tonight. We don't want, want to walk out of this place unchanged. Every time we come to encounter you, Lord, we expect to be changed by spirit and truth. And we thank you, Jesus. You are here to meet us. You so love us. You so love us. You so love us. Yeah! Come on! Can you tell him how much you love him? Jesus. Oh, my God. Wow. 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 I really feel the face of Jesus is in it this evening. Wow. Wow. Abigail was sitting in it. I feel like it's a face-to-face -face evening. Wow. His face is coming in near to the broken heart this evening. His face is coming in near to the wounds, to the broken heart this evening. Wow. Wow. There's going to be an immersion of his face that is going to roll over people this evening as we press in. We're going to go back into his song in a minute. But the, Jesus is here. This, this isn't... This isn't, this isn't just some empty thing. Jesus is here. He is standing in the room with us this evening. He is standing in the room with us this evening. He can't help himself. He can't help himself but come in. Wow. We're going to go into this again in a minute. We're going to go into this again in a minute. We're going to go, wow. Jesus, we glorify your name in this place, Lord God. We glorify your name in this place, Lord God. Jesus, Lord God, and we're in, wow. Wow!
nothing satisfies like you do. The fountain won't run by. Nothing satisfies like you do. I've tasted and I have tasted life. Nothing satisfies like you do. The fount that won't run dry. Nothing satisfies like you do. And I have tasted life. Nothing satisfies like you do.
God's doing something. I don't know if you can sense it. God's doing something. Something just opened up in the room. Something's just opened up in the room. And I don't know about you, but I'm hungry for Him and to encounter Him. Something's just opened up the room. And so there's a river that's ushering into the room and God's commissioning people tonight. One of my... One of my students came to me and she saw a, a, a radar in the sky and she saw God actually pinpointing different people in the room and commissioning him and a target coming on people, commissioning them tonight. Keep going and then you're going to go into that, okay. Keep going and then you're going to go into what you were singing. And there's a river that the Lord's going to usher into this room tonight. I want you to make it all about Jesus. And a river's gonna start flowing over you and some people are gonna start getting commissioned and marked, even now. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, your time. it's time to 
to speak the life over yourself. It's time to step over the line you see. It's time for the wells that are growing deep to come out, to come out. person that's near you it's your time and then and then put your hand on your heart put your hand on your heart and make it personal and with just close your eyes across the room make it personal God I pray not another meeting God, that tonight people's voices would get unlocked, that people would be set free from years of bondage, that bodies would be set free from torments and bondage, that people that have a destiny and a calling on their life to speak, to preach, to be bold and to be courageous, that tonight there'd be an unlocking. You know, that. Wow. A sign of revival is boldness and courage starts filling the saints. Boldness and courage starting to fill the saints. Uh, people are getting unlocked tonight. Not God, not just to walk in and to leave the same. I remember bringing a team here a, a few months ago. And I remember they came in, they fell on the ground, the Lord met them, and they left this building totally changed. I stood, in, I stood up in that office over there just about an hour ago with my team of 60 from Bethel Church that we've come to bless your region with. And they sat there and they told me about time after time after time, first time moments, about how they saw people get saved. One lady today, she was, she was in a, a, a healing, an alternate healing shop where there was a Reiki healer, led her to the Lord just today. Another lady saw... Another lady saw her first healing. Another lady got filled with the Holy Spirit and got her prayer language on my team, got her prayer language for the first time. For the first time. Another lady prophesied for the first time. For the first time. 
Turn to someone, turn to three people and say it's your time. Tonight's going to be a good night. Tonight's going to, I feel the fire of God in this place. I feel the fire of God in this place. Tonight's going to be a good night. I feel the fire of God in this place. Man. Wow. Man, I just feel the fire in this place. Wow. Angela. Angela, I believe the Lord's raising you up in this season and I see great promotion. And I see, I see on, your, on your right leg and in your left leg, I see Him giving you new shoes and I see them being high heel shoes. And I feel the Lord's putting you in high heels and He's actually elevating you and your status. And I feel that there's going to be uh, invitations in this next season. They're going to open up for you. And I feel high heels are coming on you and He's elevating you in the Spirit. And I believe the Lord's actually given you a significant gift to minister in the realm of the Spirit. And uh, I believe in your community, you can actually start moving in a heart and ability to actually recognize the flow and the waves of glory and usher in the glory of God. And you're going to actually become an expert and people are going to come to you and ask you, how did you usher in the presence of God in those moments? And I believe the Lord in this season, He's actually raising you up and He's putting high heel shoes on you. High heel shoes on you. That's a good word right there. That's a good word. Man. Why? Wow. Yo. Just this lady over here. Just raise your hands. Both hands. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Just keep them up. Keep your hands up. Thank you, Jesus, that this is a season of restoration and equipping for her. And I see the month of I see the month of August being really significant for you. And I see God just releasing you into a new destiny moment in the month of August. So God, we just pray grace just over her. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Grace upon her in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Oh man. The Spirit of God is here in this place. Oh, why don't you why don't you hug somebody? Hug them tight and tell them that that you're going to get marked tonight because revival, the spirit of revival is in the house. Give them a hug say, the spirit of revival is in the house. You're going to get marked tonight. It's an honor to be here with you. You know, we're from Redding, California. We brought 60 wild students here burning with the fire of God, burning for Arlington region, burning for the Seattle region, burning for the Pacific Northwest. Hey, it's an honor to be here. And make your way to your seats. Give someone a massive hug and make your way to your seats. Oh man, worship team, that was fire. Man, that was fire, guys. That was absolute fire, Mitchell. That was fire, Gabe. Jen. Abigail, that was fire. Fire, Richie. You can't turn out a light 
Shining from the All right. Can't turn out a light. We are so glad that you came tonight. I hope you came to party. I hope you came to party. Because I got to tell you, Jesus is all about a good time. He knows how to take the bad stuff and make it really good. Better than you can imagine. Better than you can imagine. I'm Pastor Judy. I'm also the party pastor. <laughs> That's why I know we're going to have a good time tonight. So let's have fun. Hey, can we pop that slide up, please? There is going to be a slide up here momentarily. Different ways to give. We're, we'll be receiving your tithes and offerings very soon. We have a number of ways to do that. You can go to 84321, text it. You can go online, Jake's House Church. You can do cash. <laughs> We've got offering envelopes in the chairs before you. So it's all good, right? It's all good. Everybody say it's all good. It's all good. Hey, hopefully, when you came in this, mor uh, this morning, <laughs> this evening, you, got, you received a card, LEAD 2018. This is our May conference. The dates are the 10th through the 12th, and then we'll have Blaze following that, uh, the 13th through the 16th. This is going to be a phenomenal time. We want you all to be here. We want our Bethel friends to drive back up and join us. <laughs> it's going to be that epic. We've got Steve Carpenter from Israel who's going to be here. We love Steve. We also have Jeremy and Miranda Nelson. So Miranda is fitting. She's going to be speaking on Mother's Day as well as uh, Thursday or Friday night. And she is fitting this uh, time with us in between a trip to France and India or someplace. I mean, this woman is just in high demand, and yet she has set aside time to come. And I can tell you, it will not, it won't be a waste of time for you. You will gain so much. All right, so now it is my very good pleasure to introduce Shelly to you from Bethel. She's got a testimony. Thank you, guys. Wow, it's, isn't it beautiful that we get to offer something to Jesus? Yeah. Our offering. Wow. Um, I just wanted to share just a really quick testimony about offering, and um, it's a little bit personal, but it's good. So um, about two weeks ago, actually, my dad passed away, and um, I was really kind of struggling to make the decision to come on this trip and thinking, wow, God, what do I have to offer right now? Um, I feel really broken inside. I feel like I don't know what I have to offer people there. So, um, yeah, I just had a moment with God, and I just asked him, like, what would I even give, God? And he just said to me, like he always does so kindly, will you go? Will you just go? Um, and he said, if you provide the sacrifice, I'll provide the fire. Wow. So, yeah, wow, you guys, and... Just making the choice to come to take each step and give it to him and say, it's super easy. You know, if you've ever offered anything to God, you know that it's not difficult. It's always freeing. It doesn't take from you. Yeah. Um, he invites you to give an offering to him. He doesn't demand it of you. And his invitations always offer you more than you could ever offer him back. So I just wanted to say, um, in a difficult decision and offering myself to him and just giving him all of me when I have nothing left, he comes like fire. Yeah. He does. Yeah. Yeah. So I just want to invite you guys to offer what you have if there's something difficult or if it's, you know, okay, if you have a million dollars or if you have a breadcrumb, it's just fragrance to God. Wow. It's just perfect. Yeah. We're just blessing you. Offering team, come on forward. Offering team, come on forward. Yeah, so Jesus, we just, wow, we just want to bring you our best offering tonight. Whatever it is, however small, however big it is, if we have the whole world to offer you, or if we have the lint in our pocket, 
It's just perfect for you. I just release that into this room that every sacrifice made will be met with fire. Yeah, yeah wow, God, I just, I declare that there's going to be, going to be a fresh fire in this, in this house tonight. Hey, you're going to meet him like you haven't met him before. Yeah, you're planting seeds and they're going to grow into trees bigger than you could ever imagine in your lives and in the lives of the people around you. Yeah, I just bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Well, I don't know about any of you, but I got wrecked already. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Wow. That was good. <laughs> wow, that's. Thank you. Uh, there we are. Thank you for worship. Uh, the whole worship team, wherever you're at. Can we have, yeah, come on, you guys. I was wrecked in worship. Wow, thank you guys so much. Uh, today was really cool. Um, Richard and I got to hang out and so have a good time. It was, it was so much fun. Time. It was really good, yeah. And um, I heard some really good things happened. Uh, uh, you know, different different outreaches and stuff. So, so thank you uh, to all the students and to to our family. And I think there was some even from River Life, some other church family that came. And so, huh? SRC too. Awesome. Is there any SRC in the house? Yeah. Come on. Woo. So um, today was just a, just a beautiful day, and uh, I just feel so overwhelmed uh, with the goodness and kindness of the Lord. And uh, I can't, I can't totally like share everything, but after I dropped Richard off today, I, I told him in, in the service, uh, and um, after I dropped him off today at the hotel, um, uh, God just rocked my world and something really special happened in my life today. So. Yeah, it was absolutely amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, my honey and I were just blown away. And uh, try to keep it together here. Um, I want to, uh, yeah. <laughs> I know, right? Um, I just, um, once again, um, it, who's, if you're new, it, this your first, first night to the services or first, first time here in Richard, raise your hand. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. We just want to honor you. God bless you. Yeah. Come on, you guys. Yeah. We just, just honor you. Hope that you're just getting blessed tonight. Um, yeah. Um, before I hand it over to Richard, um, I, I just feel like um, I want to release, again, just a blessing over um, all the churches that are just represented here uh, tonight. Um, it's, it's our heart, um, Jake's house, to, um, to encourage and foster and see revival communities all over the Northwest and to see revival all over the Northwest. So... Um, so um, just thank you for, for worshiping with us here tonight. And we believe that, that that word, it's time. And just I believe there's just an impartation for you tonight to just take God's fire and His presence with you. So, so thank you for, for being with us tonight. <laughs> Can you get up here? <laughs> Oh, come on. Hey! 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 
God, we ask just for the glory of God to rest upon this beautiful, incredible vessel of revival, Lord God. And we, we honor you, Pastor Keith, for your heart that is to raise up men and women, sons and daughters of revival, sons and daughters that would carry the gospel of Jesus Christ into, into the nations, into the area of Arlington. Thank you for every sacrifice that you've made. Every tear that you've shed, every penny that you've dropped, every, uh, every night that you've stayed up praying, we thank you so much for the sacrifices that you've made in this region. And we honor you as an apostolic figure in this region. We honor you for what you carry and the apostolic call upon your life and the apostolic call upon this church. We honor you for your heart for unity. We honor you for your heart for unifying the bride of Christ, that it's not about one move, it's not about one house, but it's about many houses coming together. And where there is unity, the Lord commands a blessing. And I declare that this place would be a meeting place where churches would gather that of other visions, and they would gather together, and they would feel unified, and that the, the Lord would command a blessing in this place. And it would ripple across this region ripple across this region we honor you for who you are and we honor you for what you carry and we honor you for sitting here and standing here we honor you guys we honor you thank you for your yes to the gospel thank you for your yes to the cross thank you for your yes to the resurrection and the ascension thank you so much thank you so much for partnering with it's a monday night Thank you so much for partnering with Revival. Thank you so much for partnering with what's happening in this region. Thank, honestly, thank you so much for your yes to Jesus. Turn to the person next to you and say, you're a significant part of Revival. So, so honored and so thankful for each of you here. So honored and so thankful for each of you here. Abigail. Do you mind just getting on the keys quickly? Just so honored. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so I love this place. I love this house. I love what God is doing in this place. You know, I had significant moments here where my life got changed in this place. And it feels like I'm here with family. And I love this region. You know, it was two years ago. The Lord, uh, it was two, maybe three years ago. The Lord said to me, Rich, I want, to, want you to start praying for a region. And he said, I want you to start praying for the Pacific Northwest. And so what I did is I printed out a picture of the Pacific Northwest, specifically Washington State. And I put it, I put it, above, my, I put it above my toilet. And so every single, every time, you know, I would go and I would pray for this region. And, and I'm very regular, so I'd pray regularly. And, and I'd pray for this region. Uh, I'm, in Redding, I'm in Redding, California. I'm from South Africa, but above my toilet for the last three years is a picture of Washington State. I, I, I love this region, and I love, I love what God is doing here. I believe I'm not we're not just here for a ministry trip I am sowing and building into what the Lord is doing I honestly believe that you guys are you guys sitting here and this community is a catalyst for what the Lord is doing in this region you're a catalyst for the Lord's doing this and we're not just here on a ministry trip I've been sowing and building into this region the spirit realm for the last I, I love this place Do you know what I know more is as I've been getting Jesus heart for this place Jesus is so in love with this place. He is so in love with this region. Turn to the person next to you and say, you are living in a significant place. And then turn to the other person, your second choice, and say, and the time is now. Wow, look at this, what's this here, look at that, this is some free stuff, ah. what do we do with some free stuff, do you guys like some free stuff, 
Okay. I like free stuff. Freely I've received, freely I give. Next time I come, I should bring, the, I should bring that picture from my toilet. <laughs> we'll hang it up there. I'm just joking. I'm just having a laugh. It's mine. It stays there. We got a bit of free stuff. Does anyone here in here have a birthday or anniversary March 26th? We have an increased testimony book for you. We, we're, um, this is the missions edition. So there's 98 trips um, going out this year from BSSM. And we collect the most fiery testimonies and put them into a book each year. And this um, is the missions edition from last year for you. Receive the testimony. Um, does the date, uh, the date's actually July 31st. April the 22nd, and the name Karina or Carrie mean anything to anyone? Um, and there's another one. Well, so tell me, what does that mean? Is it the dates or which, which is? Karine. Her name is Carrie. Okay. And then over there? I think everyone's getting free things. Great. And then what's the date over there? Huh? You want to go give them two things? Um, can I ask if Applebee's means anything to any one of you? One of the two. Applebee's? Applebee's. He's having fun tonight. <laughs> Okay, I feel like it's for her. Yeah. Rue, give it to her. And so we have, we have some gifts for the lovely pastors of this church as well. That we love so much. How many, how many of you all love them? Just make some noise. Come on. We have a firm belief that honor affirms value. So the moment that you honor, you're not honoring a pastor, but you're honoring a son of God. Um, and so you won't, you won't inherit. The Bible says you inherit. Uh, I can't remember right now, but you inher you'll inherit something. But we're honoring this, this son of God right now. And you're honoring a man that's of the kingdom. And so you're in the heart and you inherit the kingdom. So I believe, Pastor Keith, man, you're in a season where you're about to start stewarding um, a culture of uh, prophetic. Um, so we got the, the Sean Bowles book for you. It's called Empowering the Prophetic. Um, so we just want to bless you with that. Come on. Come on. Yes, yes. Okay, bye, Irvin. <laughs> um, and then we have, Carmen, we got you the new Stephanie Gretzinger album, Blackout. <laughs> You're just a powerful woman, just like Stephanie, and I feel like you're stepping into a new way of unleashing yourself, almost like how Stephanie like shakes her head. I feel like you're gonna be doing that in new ways. Uh, okay. And just releasing okay. a creative, something creative out of you that we haven't seen yet, and I'm so excited. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then Kendall, we also got you something, because you're also part of this family, and a pastor in this house, and a leader. Um, Yeah, can we just honor Kendall? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, come on. We got you Christ in You by Eric Johnson, and it's all about um, oneness in Christ and living with Christ, Jesus coming out of you. Um, and so we just love you guys so much. We literally love your house, your family. Um, That's true. Insane. So we just wanted to bless you guys because you have blessed us so much. Thank you. man say so, hey <laughs> you know how I work by now say so, hey back to me hey I love it I love it um, uh, if you don't know I'm, I'm Richard I'm from South Africa love Jesus all in love desperately wildly caught up I'm with them all the time I, I'm that I'm, I'm embarrassingly awkwardly in love with them you know like uh, like, it's like, uh, that's a little bit too much. I'm that guy. I'm, 
and I'm and and I like that I'm that guy. I, I'm I'm like that some I like it sometimes that my friends the people get around me I like that they get embarrassed sometimes around me that I'm gushy about my Lord Jesus I'm in love with him and uh, I know that there's people in this house that are desperately in love with Jesus man I believe that people are going to get marked tonight but I believe this house is gonna there's there's God is marking this house I felt in the spirit that uh, God is marking this house to be an apostolic house. And uh, what that means is it means that people would come in and they would be sent out. They would be come in and they would be sent to nations. And, they, and, and uh, if you're from my team and we've asked you to come up and pray, I want you to come up quickly and line up. If you have uh, from another nation, from my team, another nation that uh, can pray in a different tongue, I want you to come up very quickly. Quickly, quickly. And Sam, why don't we get you too, even though you're English. If you're, from, you're from Leeds, man. London, London, man. London, London, man. Yeah, London. Essex, Essex. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, God. Whoa. Oh, come on. Wow, am I missing any? Any others? Emmy, why don't you come up quickly? Gabby, why don't you come up quickly? Thank you. Okay. Trisha from Malaysia. Yeah, come up. Fire, fire, fire. Is Jun Yang here? Jun Yang's here? Okay, so good. Okay, so good. Okay. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, I want to do a prophetic act. Is Diego here? Okay, good. I want to do a prophetic act. And, but I want you to receive. Right now, these people are going to pray, and it's for a church, but it, God's, God's not just about, it's not about a region. God's not just about, He's always personal. God's always personal. And you're sitting in this room because I believe the Lord's marking people for a heart for nations. And it's, He makes it always personal. Jesus always makes it about the one. Can you guys scoot over so you're in the center? It's okay. He always makes it about the one. And I, I want you to open your hands up right now. And some of you are going to get marked for, and called to go to other nations. And for short-term mission trips, some of you, there's going to be something rising up inside of you that's going to be saying, actually, I need to sow. Actually, I need to sow into missions work. Some of you, there's something going to be rising up inside of you. What's happening in this church community is he's raising up an apostolic move in this church community. And he's anointing this place to be like a hub, a base church, where people would start to come in like a base church and they'd get equipped and they'd be refreshed and they'd be launched out. And he's giving you gifts also. And I see different gifts coming into this church. And I see this as a base church being a place that would hold and host the gifts. And so as these people prophesy from all different nations, I want you to receive the anointing that's going to be released over you. And what's going to happen, it's going to start with individuals, and individuals are going to start getting marked. You might not understand the words, but the Holy Spirit's going to lace them with power, and people are going to get marked. And when you go, I want you to say what nation you're from, and then I want you to start praying. Yeah, 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 yeah. we'll start from here. I'm Evelina, and I'm from Sweden. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Jesus, for the church. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Jesus, for every man who is sitting here. Wow. Wow. Jesus, I pray that every man who is here will be able to feel your love. Jesus, jag ber för gåvor. Jag ber att du ska ge wow, människor nådegåvor här. Jag ber för tungotal. Wow. Jag ber för, wow. Jag ber för den heliga ande att falla på människor här inne just nu i Jesu namn. Mm, I Jesu namn, amen. Mm. Oh, Indonesia. Put 
puji Tuhan. Bapak, engkau sungguh baik. Silakan datang Roh Kudus di dalam nama Yesus Kristus. Turkey. çok yerine insanları gönder ve dünyanın birçok yerinden bu kiliseye kaybolmuş kuzuları gönder diye dua ediyorum Rab sana. Rab bu kiliseden gönderdiğin kişiler dünyanın birçok yerine uyanış götürsün diye dua ediyorum Rab. Germany, I'm Lily. Danke, Papa. Danke, dass du der Mittelpunkt hier dieser Gemeinde bist. Danke, dass du immer der Mittelpunkt sein wirst. Und ich danke dir für alles, was du hier tust. Ich danke dir, dass alles, was du in dieser Gemeinde hier tust, dass es prophetisch sein wird für die ganzen Nationen, wo die Leute hingesendet werden. Ich danke dir, dass alles, was du hier in dieser Region tust, dass es prophetisch sein wird für die ganzen Nationen, wo die Leute hingesendet werden. Ich danke dir für jede Leiterschaft, die von hier ausgeht, für jeden Missionar, der von hier ausgeht. Und ich danke, dass du dieses Haus segnest, dass du es segnest mit deiner Gegenwart, mit deinem Gesicht. Danke, Jesus. I'm Sarah, I'm from Canada. Seigneur, je te demande de bénir cette nation. Je te demande de tout ce que tu as offert au Canada. Je te demande de le, <laughs> de le donner au, au Pacifique Nord-Ouest. Seigneur, que ta gloire descende sur cette place. Ojcze nasz, który jesteś w niebie, święć się imię Twoje, przyjdź królestwo Twoje, bądź wola Twoja, jako w niebie, tak i na ziemi. I'm Edith and I'm from Finland. Wow. Tule pyhä henki. Tule pyhä henki. Tule ja kosketa ihmisiä tässä huoneessa tänään. Tule isä ja kosketa ihmisiä. Mä rukoilen, että lapsuuden henki laskeutuu tänään tähän paikkaan. Isä, mä rukoilen. Isä, että joka sukupolvi saa tuntea sun voiman. Isä, että joka sukupolvi saa tuntea sut. Jeesus ja bevat varenda generation for tjena dig. Och veta att du är Herre. Jeesus ja bevat varenda människa i det här rummet. Kalla du dem. Tack att de är dina barn. Wow. 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 I'm Sam from England. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Lord God, I thank you for the mothers and the fathers of this house and the people have sown into taking this house from generation into where it is today. Wow. 
wow. As I was praying and interceding for this trip, I just saw a rain starting to fall in this house. Wow. Wow. I see a rain starting to fall in this house. And as we were worshiping today, I saw the rain coming. I don't think, it's, I don't think it was a coincidence that rain was on the screen. And I see this being a tabernacle where the rain of God will fall and nourish hearts. I feel people will come here and be regenerated from the rain that will fall. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. I'm a Jing from China. If, if you age, if your age is over 45, would you please stand up? If your age is over 45, would you please stand up? Because I feel God will double portion over you guys. Shakalabase. Oh, shalabase kayalase. Yeah. Oh, Hi, I'm Marketa. I'm from the Czech Republic. Maybe you know it as Czechoslovakia. Pane Ježíši, děkuji ti za tenhle ten úžasný sbor. Děkuji ti za všechny lidi, kteří tady jsou. A děkuji ti za to, že přinášíš novou řeku života, že vdechuješ nový dech a že vdechuješ um, čerstvost. Děkuji ti za všechny lidi, kterým tady hoří srdce pro tebe. Děkuji ti za to, že ty si označil tenhle ten dům a ty si ho používáš totálně strategicky. Děkuji ti za to, že pozvedáváš lidi, aby nacházeli svoji identitu a nacházeli svoje povolání v tobě. <laughs> I am Emmy and I'm from Ecuador. I'm Gabby from Ecuador too. And I believe that there is a double portion anointing <laughs> for South America. Come on! Woo! Hey! Gracias, Papa, por este día. Gracias por toda el fuego que viene de ti. Por todo el fuego que viene de ti. Despierte sus corazones. Despierte sus corazones por Latinoamérica. Despierte sus corazones por Latinoamérica, por más misioneros, por más gente que esté trayendo revival, más alegría, más pasión, más pasión por las naciones, más pasión por las naciones de Latinoamérica. Declaramos avivamiento sobre todos los países de Latinoamérica que tu fuego viene, Señor. Que viene tu fuego a cada nación, que se levanten más personas, Señor. Moviliza a la iglesia, Señor, de Latinoamérica. Que se levanten movimientos apostólicos, Señor. Que tengan corazones apasionados, Señor, por tu fuego, por tu presencia, Señor. Te damos gracias por la iglesia en Latinoamérica. Por una iglesia libre, Señor. Por una iglesia libre, llena del amor de Jesús. Hi, I'm Malay. Uh, I'm Malaysia. I'm Trisha from Malaysia, and I will pray in Malay. <laughs> oh God, Tuhan kami berterima kasih kepada kau. Hais Roh Kudus dar di sini dan kami suruh api turun kepada semua orang di sini dan orang akan datang dari seluruh dunia. Mereka akan menerima api yang kau akan membawa. Dan mereka akan pergi seluruh dunia ke tempat-tempat yang kamu hantarkan. Kami terima kasih atas hujan, hujan kamu dengan api, hujan dan api yang turun. Kami terima kasih. Bukakan syurga Tuhan, bukakan syurga Tuhan, bukakan syurga Tuhan dan menjadikan apa yang terjadi di syurga seperti di bumi. I'm Rusivo. I'm from Zimbabwe. Wow! Oh! Mwari baba huyaipano. Nyungwe ya mchene wenyumu batema niwe sevari panapa. 
Ubate moye evani wese varuenda kwa oda kwenda. Ubate evani wese vane moye yekuda kwenda kwa oda kwenda. Ubate fungwa tsao, ubate makumba, ubate maoka, ubate oda kwenda. Mambo yomati mambo, shumba yeruti ya juda. Mwaya mchene uya, mwaya mchene uya, ubate evani wese vane panaba. Mwaya ubate moye yavo, uya ubate fungwa tsao. Hey! South Africa. <laughs> wow, and I just come to you as a daughter of my nation. On say Jesus nodig in South Africa. On say Jesus nodig and on say Jelle nodig. Wow, Jesus. Wow, Jesus. Wow, Jesus. And I bless this house as a daughter of South Africa and I ask God that your fire would fall. That your fire would fall. That your fire would fall, God. Thanks, God. God, and that we'd never be the same. We'd never be the same. Never be the same. I'm going to pray my mother tongue. Perlon Katande Adevere. Swami. Nina Benkin. Ye Deshtal Nina Tarasa Swami. Nina Shakti. Nina Priti. Nina Kupei. He in the colors of Swami. Swami in a bank in a tourist. In a bank in tourist. In a muckle in a turkey car, Swami. Swami, in a game, my man, in a game, Kana, in a game, Stotra. Yes, so in a mother than I'm a prat, the Martha is Swami. My name is Diego. I'm from Brazil. Ora, Kana, mas. Eu libero agora nessa casa a unção de Jesus e o fogo de Deus nesse lugar. As pessoas vão entrar nessa casa aqui e vão se converter, vão ser tocadas pelo fogo de Deus. Essa casa vai ser conhecida nas nações. Eu estou liberando conexões para a Ásia, para outros países. Vai ter implantação de igreja nesse lugar. Essa casa vai ser conhecida pelo fogo de Jesus. Eu declaro o fogo de Deus, o Espírito Santo vindo nesse lugar como onda e onda e onda e onda e onda e as pessoas vão se chegar a Deus eu declaro sobre o pastor aqui levantando pastores e mais pastores nessa casa no nome de Jesus eu declaro sobre essa casa o rio de Jesus o rio de Jesus pessoas e pessoas se chegando Jesus declara, eu comando a minha bênção nessa casa, em nome de Jesus, em nome de Jesus, em nome de Jesus, em nome de Jesus, fogo, 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 if you want fire, fogo, 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 nós liberamos uma, oh, essa obra apostólica no nome de Jesus. Nós liberamos conexões no nome de Jesus. Haverá fogo, haverá pessoas se convertendo. Eu libero juventude nesse lugar. Eu libero crianças, eu libero juventude. Eu libero muitos jovens sendo treinados, equipados nesse lugar. Eu como brasileiro, eu fui atingido pelos Estados Unidos. Então no nome de Jesus eu libero, no nome de Jesus essa casa. Muito obrigado. Amém. Just give Jesus just all the praise. All the glory, Jesus. All the glory, Jesus. All the glory unto Jesus. All the nations call your name, Jesus. All the nations call your name. Though all the nations, they call you king. They call you king. From every nation, they know your name, Jesus. From every nation and every tongue. They know the name of Jesus. Oh, God, you're the same in China. God, you're the same in Brazil. God, you're the same in London. 
God, you're the same in South Africa and Zimbabwe and Germany and the Czech Republic, Lord God. You're the same in Finland, Lord God. You're the same in Germany. Oh my God, He's alive and He's real to every nation. It's a real Jesus. If you don't know Jesus, let me tell you, He's a true God. He's the only living God. He's the only one with the power to raise from the dead. He's the only one with the power to give you life eternal and that you may be in heaven forever. There's God is marking people for a missions move. He's marking you for a desire for nations. This house is an apostolic house. This house is a base church. Nations will come. Nations will come to this church and nations will be impacted from this church. This is a prophetic sign and a symbol that the nations stand before you and the nations stand in this place. A prophetic sign and a symbol. The nations are coming to Washington State to learn and they're gonna get launched from this place. Missionaries will come here and get launched from this place to Washington State. It's gonna be a place of sending. A great revival is gonna be moving in the North Pacific Northwest. A revival is gonna move in the Pacific Northwest. The revival is moving in the Pacific Northwest. And this is one gonna be one of the places that it's gonna mark and touch from this place, from this space. Jesus, we love your name, Jesus. Love your name, Jesus. It's not about a, it's not about a nation. It's not about a church. It's not about a location. It's about Jesus. But God, use us. Say that with me. God, use me. God, I'm ready, and it's time. Use me in my family. Use me in my region. Use me in my church, God. It's time. Wow. Yo, 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 yo. Oh. It's a significant moment, eh? I'll let you know you're part of a bigger story than your own. The best things that we ever do, the best things we're ever part of, it's part of a bigger story than our own. Kylie, you're part of a big story. You're part of a very big story, Kylie. Very, very big story. Man. Where's Paula? Can you come up quickly, Paula? Where's Paula? Come quickly, quickly, quickly. This woman, she, was, she grew up in this area. She grew up in Arlington. Part of my team grew up in Arlington. She said to me, Rich, I want to come back. I've got some ground to claim here. And she and she said she had a, she she wanted to share something brief with you. She grew up here. And she with tears in her eyes, she says, I'm coming back. Stand up if you were born here, please. If you were born in Arlington. Stand up if you started this church. Part of starting the church. Part in starting this church. Everyone that started this Jake's house. And stand up if you had a dream that Jesus was going to encounter and be a part of this region. Like, this is a dream come true, this church. If you had that dream, stand up. There they go. Yes, God. Yes, God. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. He gave me a picture today during worship that alignment was about to happen. Quickly, Okay. Yeah. Um, quickly, my story real quick. Uh, so I grew up here, and... Uh, Last year, the Lord told me to go to BSSM and uh, missions trip. I wanted to go to Santa Cruz, sunny California. <laughs> I'm kind of tired of the rain after 48 years. And uh, um, then he said, no, I want you to go back to Arlington. I have a plan and a purpose for you. And, uh, and he showed me that I was coming back to take back my identity 
because my childhood was stolen from me in this town. And I did that this morning. Wow. Okay. So uh, this is a very important church. Uh, what I see is a movement not only from the ones that are standing, and the ones that are standing actually have poured into the ones that are actually sitting, and the ones that are sitting that have gone through maybe a similar story as me, you're about to get healing today. <sighs> yes. So, everybody, I just feel like you close your eyes and receive the unlocking of destiny and dreams. Whoa. Yes, God. Some of you, your dreams have been buried under the rubble because of your childhood. And I am a witness. Today is your day for freedom. The Lion of Judah is here. Oh! <laughs> Receive the Father's love. Your dreams are going to be unlocked now. Thank you, Father. Yes, God. He's blessing this land. And he says this land is significant. And he says you are significant. If you live here, if you're born here, you're significant. He's brought nations and he's brought people from your homeland here. Oh, you witnessed something powerful today. I'm going to invite a friend of mine up. He's going to start speaking. And he, uh, he carries this... Uh, this powerful anointing uh, for the ministry of the Holy Spirit and the ministry of the power of God. And uh, uh, he's a son to me, and uh, I've loved seeing him move in power. Um, I was in a meeting with him recently, and, uh, and they asked me to speak, and I said, okay, you start the meeting off. And I handed him the floor, and about uh, 10 minutes later, everyone was on the floor. <laughs> and uh, I maybe got 10 minutes, I got maybe got 10 minutes of, of sharing a little bit later. And just because God broke out, not because he took over, but God took over. Yeah. What I love about him is uh, he just loves Jesus, and he loves to create space, um, and he's sold out for Jesus. Um, right across the room, I, I want to give you permission to receive from Him first. You know, so keep, open up your hands. Say this, God, mark me. Continue to mark me, God. I'm a prophetic act for this region. Fall on me so you can fall on this region. God, let me be the small key that opens up big doors. Mm. So, so Irvin, my black son, <laughs> he loves when I call him that. My boy.
1 Corinthians 2 verse 1 says, My brothers and sisters, when I first came to proclaim to you the secrets of God, I refused to come as an expert, trying to impress you with my eloquence, speech, and lofty wisdom. For while I was with you, I was determined to be consumed with one topic, Jesus, the crucified Messiah. I stood before you feeling inadequate, filled with reverence for God, and trembling under the sense of the importance of my words. The message I preached and how I preached it was not an attempt to sway you with pers persuasive arguments, but to prove to you the almighty power of God's Holy Spirit. For God intended that your faith not be established by man's wisdom, but by trusting in his almighty power. If you come for a sermon today, you've come to the wrong place. Jesus used to speak in many languages, but one of my favorite ones is the Aramaic. You know there's no translation in the Aramaic, Aramaic for the word sermon. The closest thing is conversation. So I haven't come here to conversate with you, converse with you, sorry. I've come here to converse with him. And I've but invited you into the room. So I, I just I feel like it would be a disservice for me to to do that with him and you not to do the same. I pray you hear not a word I say today and only his. So if you need to get out of your chair right now, now's the time. If you need to get on the floor, I saw that I had a dream about this moment. I saw the altar filled with people and me having to step over people to speak. If you've come in here with a title, if you come in here, if I, if I would to come in here and be Irvin the speaker, I would only be able to relate to him as Irvin the speaker, but if I come in here as Irvin the son of God, if you came in here as a pastor, as a youth pastor, as, a, as an attendee or as a student or as an intern or as a, a trash man or as a garbage man or as a, as, a, as a attendant or a flight attendant or a nurse or a doctor or a theologian or a doctrine expert, whatever you came in here as, I promise you it's a lie because he doesn't see you as those things. He sees you as son and daughter. You're clapping, but I don't think you get it. Some, somewhere along the line, we stopped remembering that, come on, Trisha, we stopped remembering that we're made in his image. And somewhere along the line, we made him and ours. Sin isn't about immorality. Sin is about whatever separates you from him. So if right now the distance between you and him is your seat, is embarrassment, is pride, is guilt, is shame, is sin, if you're waiting till you get to heaven to stop sinning, Jesus isn't your savior, death is. And this is all what he says to me. So we're going to sing a song. Because it's not about me, it's about him. And we're just going to get lost in him. But for a moment, and I want you to look into his eyes. Everyone in the room, can you please close your eyes? And trust that your spirit gets what it needs. There's no topic that's taboo in this moment. If you need a deliverance, if you need breakthrough, if you're wanting to step away from a homosexual lifestyle, if you're wanting to step away from porn addiction, if you're wanting to step away from things that are holding you back, there's no taboo topics in the church. Because the church isn't about a building and we, we don't gather around 
doctrine. We gather around him. So spirit of the living God, Holy Spirit, won't you come? And won't you just kiss me on the forehead? One more time. Some people in the room that needs to stand up. Keep going. Honey. This will be unconventional. Richard tells me it's always awkward before it's beautiful. So I'm going to turn my back to you. And I'm going to worship the king. Because this isn't a sermon. This isn't a message. This isn't a presentation. I have zero notes. I just have him. The greatest tool, the greatest gift you have is an anointing. It's a relationship. Everyone just sing this song with her. There's a woman in the, in the room right now with pain in her left calf muscle. The Lord's healing you right now. There's a woman with digestive issues. The Lord is calling you to this altar. He's healing you right now. There's someone that tried to commit suicide in the last six months, and he's calling you to the altar right now. He's calling you to heaven right now. Man, this isn't about me. It isn't about this meeting. It isn't about this region. It's about him. Man, heaven, won't you come? The Spirit of the Lord is upon us, and it has anointed us to live the gospel. Not preach, not teach, but live. God, I love you. God, I love you. Come on, Hannah, sing that one more time. Our Father, one more time. Man, this year was the hardest year of my life. My father was shot at point blank range. And I even had to go and clean his blood off the side of my house. And even in the midst of that, God told me, Son, what do you need? I said, God, why did this happen? Why did my dad get shot? Why is my mom weeping on hospital floors? Why did my little brother have to go outside and find my father? Why did my sister who's an atheist hate you even more after this moment? Why did my little sister who just got adopted almost lose her father? Why did I haven't seen my father in person in two years? And he said to me, son, orphans ask why, sons ask what's next. So I don't know if that's your story. It probably isn't. But I know that you have a story. I know that you have a story and it has some hurt, it has some pain, it has some grief, it has some doubt, it has some shame. The Lord is on you right there. Right there. Right there. I know that it isn't your story, but I know you have one. And if you have to get out your chair, if you have to stand up, I don't care if it's an ounce. I don't care if you turn but a second. I don't care if you scream like that. My pastor is Richard Gordon. I don't know if you know anything about him. My father is Richard Gordon. I don't know if you know anything about him. He does not care about a mess. He does not care about a mess. And he, he mirrors Jesus the most to me. And I know that Jesus doesn't care about a mess. There's a woman sitting on a second to last row right now who's been battling depression. There's a young lady who dad used to abuse her. We're, getting, we're about to get to the bridge. There's just people in this room the Lord wants to touch. The Bible says if you ask anything in my name, I'll give it to you. Your 
There's someone in here that was practicing a different religion. And you're wanting to give your life back to God afresh. There's a place for you in this church. There's a place for you in this family. I prophesy life over you. There's someone in this room that had leadership wounds. That had leadership wounds. The church ruined you. But I'm not here to introduce you to the church. I'm here to introduce you to a person. And his name is Jesus. Come on. Yeah. So if you have if you have breath in your body, if you have a revelation that Jesus lives on the inside of you, sing this part. Let heaven come. We're about to press in. We're getting into the inner courts of heaven. There's angels filling this room. There's an angel of prosperity filling this room. Sing this song. Sing it to the lover of all lovers. Let it come. Let heaven come for your kingdom. Let heaven come. Yours is the kingdom. Oh, for yours is the kingdom. about Jesus. It's all about you, Jesus. Amen. one of the instruments come on up on the throne. I want you to get something in your mind right now. Jesus' destiny wasn't the cross. That was mine. 
Jesus' destiny was to sit at the right hand of the Father. But when he chose to step out of line, he made his story my story. He forfeited the right to his story and made his story mine. John 15, 23 said, Jesus replied, loving me empowers you to obey my word. And my father will love you so deeply that he will come to you and make you his dwelling place. The Holy Spirit wants to fill some people in this room. Oh, no, 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 not with an encounter. No, 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 not with a portion of him. For Romans 2, 8 says, God gives with no partiality. He's not coming to you in measure. He's coming to you in fullness. He's coming to fill you and to possess you. Jesus' destiny wasn't the cross. It was ours. I don't know about you, but I've been in some mess. If it had not been for the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, that well, if it wasn't for heaven coming, and this isn't a meeting. Some of you still in here, you doubt. That's fine. Yeah. And if you have kids, you can go ahead and pick them up now. But I'm going to keep pushing in, of course. You can come back in with your kids as well. They need it as much as we do. There's no junior Holy Spirit. <laughs> John 14, 14 says, <laughs> some of you know that already. It says, ask me anything in my name and I will do it for you. That's Jesus' words, not mine. Some of you haven't come all the way to the altar because you're afraid of the awkward spacing. You're afraid of it getting tight in here. Oh, no, 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 come on close. You think that there's no place for you at the altar. <laughs> Understand that when you come to the altar, the altar didn't represent repentance, it represent, oh, I should say this. I'm, I'm working on my theology with rededication. I've been thinking a lot about just dedication, cutting out the re. <laughs> Catherine Kuhlman says she died a thousand deaths a day. Don't worry, Ben, we're coming back for you. She died a thousand deaths a day. And I say dedication because repent rededication promotes repentance, which, re which promotes a negative connotation, which is shame. But dedication promotes covenant, which promotes a positive connotation, which is love and a relationship. Oh yeah, the altar's filling. And so in the 1850s, they started doing altar calls for the sake of getting people out of their shame. Understand that, yes, repentance is amazing. They gathered around repentance in the Old Testament, but only a few saw his face. Let's not gather around repentance. Let's not gather around rededication, but let's gather around dedication. Let's gather around a covenant. Let's gather around fathers and mothers, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and God. Let's gather around a trinity, because I don't have time for that other stuff. The Lord is shifting people in this room from seeing their no to seeing their yes. What's the difference, Irvin? I'll tell you. The difference is, no promotes abstinence. Yes promotes holiness. The gospel is simple. It's called the simple gospel for a reason because the simple gospel means pure and holy. Not easy. So if you think you're still sitting, there's someone in the room that, whose heart is beating. I'm pretty sure you're sitting on the back row and I'm pretty sure you're a male. I'm pretty sure you've counted yourself out your whole life and you've never stepped up to lead a room or to speak. In the moment that you come up here, 
Man, let's get those titles out of here. about to come and touch some people. Can I, can I get some of the interns to come here? Some of Richard's interns and Richard if he likes. with them. Come on, Richie. Richie, can you hear me? Cut loose. Cut loose. Come on. Don't worry about making mistakes. Cut loose. Once a pillar of fire appeared before their eyes. It separated into tongues of fire that engulfed each one of them. They were all filled and equipped with the Holy Spirit and were inspired to speak in tongues, empowered by the Spirit to speak in languages they had never heard before, that they had never learned, they had never understood. There all at once, a pillar of fire appeared before their eyes. All at once, a, peer, a pillar of fire appeared before their eyes. All at once. He's activating some eyes in here, seeing anointings. Come with fire. Come with fire.
want you on this spot to sing yours is the kingdom this 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 bridge right here is going to prophesy over you as a family and if you want in the room get it actually prophetic act if you want it in the room get behind them where you at rich Pastor Keith, try your hardest to stand up. Go ahead and try your hardest. <laughs> Can everyone in the room just laugh? <laughs> if you're touching them, take your hands off them really quick. I want you all to grab each other's hands. If you want to get behind them, it's not too late. There's a, there's a portal of heaven opening up right here. Right here. And if you're standing behind them, grab hands with your neighbor. If you're a student from BSSM, come stand with me. Oh, this is the battlegrounds. He's drawing a line in the sand right now. You as a church, you as a church are about to step out. If you want to come stand behind them now. Richie, just give me a hit. Richie. Everyone that's a student begin to prophesy over them. No one touch them. No one touch them. Sing it. Come on, Bill. The Holy Spirit's going to come and touch you. No one's going to 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 touch you. Hey! Sam, Sam, Sam. Touch that woman right there. Right there, touch that woman. Right there in the back. He's bringing fire over you right now. Fire of God, fall right now. Hey! This whole section, grab hands. Grab hands, lift up hands. Lift up hands. Shush up. You, you go to that section. Gabe, you go to that section. Rebecca, do you go to that section? That woman right there. That woman right there. Bex. Sam, that woman right there. Right there, yeah. Come on, Richie. Sing it out. Sing it out. Oh, we're opening up heaven. Richie. Richie, build up and break. Build up and break. Sing this out. Sing this out. No music, no music. Sing that. It's time to get uncomfortable. You know what's crazy? I'm not an itinerant speaker. I'm not a traveling evangelist. I'm just someone that loves Jesus. 
Yeah, they're not receiving from me, they're receiving from him. He's here. Sing this with her. Richie. Right there, that woman right there, Leander. Go touch that woman right there, right there. Lift in her hands. Go touch that woman right now. There's a, there's a person in this room with pain in, their, in, the, in the top of their spine. There's pain in the top of the spine. Right there. Someone go lay hands on them. The Lord's healing you. Jim, go. Jim, go ahead and go. Yeah. There's someone who has pain in their left shoulder. Right there in the back. Bria, can you go to her in the back with the white shirt? Right there. Left. Someone with pain in their left hip. hip. Who has pain in their left hip? Right there in the back. He sees you. He loves you. He sees you and he loves you. Shelly, can you go back there to her? There's two people back there. There's someone who's been having constant migraines. Constant migraines. Someone who has constant migraines. Oh, right there, I'm sorry. Nick, you can go back there to her. Someone who has left knee pain. Right there in the back. Left, left knee pain, go right now. There's someone in the room that just, there's a guy over there in the far, far left. You got your hand raised? They're just worshiping. I love that. Come on. Someone go over there anyway. There's someone in the room. This one's going to be different. There's someone in the room that just needs covering. There's something that's going on in your life that you haven't told anyone. Is that you? I want four people to go to her. Four people. Actually five. This woman over here, can five people go to her? Only five, only five. The five-fold is about to wreck your life. Just a little update in that testimony, she did fall. The Holy Spirit is on her life. Is there someone else who has a secret? And they've been keeping it from their family, their community. Right here, is it you? I want seven people to come right here. There's a woman over there. I want 10 people to go to her. I don't care if you're even in the service. I want 10 people to go to her. Seven people right here, 10 people right there, five people over there. She only has about three right now. That woman right there, can three people go to her? Can three people to go to her with the polka dot shirt? I'm running out of people. Raise your hand, pain in her right eye. There. Can somebody go with her, please, and pray? Yeah.
I see, I see the Lord uh, healing nerve damage. Where there's been nerve damage from an accident or an accident surgery, I see the Lord healing nerve damage. Uh, if, if that's you, just raise your hand. When we start calling out the words of knowledge, I want you to just raise your hand until one of my students or someone comes to you to pray. Just keep your hand raised until someone comes to you to pray. And then my students if, or someone's around you, just go quickly to them. The Lord's healing somebody. They've, got a, they've had a fracture on their foot and it's uh, caused pain and it hasn't healed properly. I believe the Lord wants to heal that person. And I believe it's on the left foot. If that's you, raise your hand quickly and someone's going to come to you and pray. I believe the Lord's healing somebody where they actually have had issues, uh, issues in the reproductive system. The Lord's healing you even in the presence right here. And there's even, I believe, you don't have to raise your hand, but I believe there's people that they've even had a, um, their cycle has been off. Uh, a woman with their cycle off and the, and the Lord's going to be healing someone tonight. The Lord's going to be healing someone tonight. I believe that God is healing people, especially someone with a condition that was 24 years ago. An accident that happened 24 years ago. If that's you, just wave your hand. Also, I see God healing people with broken bones, especially in the legs. If you have any broken bones, in the, in the, anything broken in the leg, God is healing you. Just raise your hand and wave at, wave at us. Also problems in the back, like scoliosis and stuff like that. Got a ceiling scoliosis tonight. Yeah. And cartilage in the knee. If you have cartilage in the knee missing, God is healing you tonight. Yeah. So all these words they could also be for those who are watching online, watching on the camera. The, the words could also be for you. There's someone in the room, but there's also someone at home that has cancer. Is there anyone in the room that has cancer? I think it's someone at home. Someone at home has cancer and you're listening in right now. You're listening in right now. It, it actually is so bad that you couldn't even leave the house. It's a struggle to even leave the house. So right now I prophesy life over them. Can everyone in the room stretch their hands to this camera right here? I prophesy life over this person. You will see many more years. You don't need a doctor, you need Jesus. And you're getting Jesus right now. You're weeping right now. You're crying right now. He's touching you right now. So we just say miracles, signs and wonders invade that place. Begin to worship over that person. get a hallelujah I'm, I'm, I'm sure that there's been healings across this room why because I've seen it you've been here so when you say hallelujah you're not saying hallelujah about the healings that have happened but the healings that are yet to happen so can you say hallelujah come on I want I want to just clue you in to what is happening here I know you see I know you see people shaking see people falling down that the Spirit of God is touching people but he doesn't just do it in one way. He's omnipresent. He's everywhere at once. So just as I look this person in the eye, I look this person in the eye, I look this person in the eye. He takes up all the space between us. Because he's omnipresent. So sometimes when he touches a person, it looks like shaking. When he touched Solomon in the Bible, it looked like wisdom. 
So your kids, even, even your kids being in the room, even you in the room, you're like, oh, but I'm not shaking. No, 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 no. He touches more ways than one. It's religious to think not. So we're going to go after it some more. God's going to be healing people in the room tonight. He's already healed a bunch of people in the room. Uh, can you just call out what you feel like God's healing? Alopecia, hair loss. God's healing hair loss in the room here. Yeah. I feel like God wants to heal lower back pain. Lower back pain. God's healing lower back pain. Stand if that's you quickly. Um, trauma and demonic attacks. There's been trauma specifically against your sleep. There's been trauma specifically against your sleep. Just, uh, I want you to just stand or wave at me quickly. Hearing loss. God's healing, healing hearing loss right now. If and at any stage, see, uh, let me explain what the word of knowledge does. The word of knowledge goes out and it releases faith into your spirit that activates what's already there and God comes and actually brings a restorative thing. So right now, the word of knowledge has gone out and before we've even laid hands on people, from the beginning to, uh, to now, there's been people that have been called out for healing and, and the word of knowledge has gone up even before we've laid hands or anything, people will get healed. And so right now, I want you to just start testing your bodies quickly. Just start testing your bodies out. If you've got hearing loss, I want you to just start trying it out there. If you've got pain in the neck, that was called out if it's there's lower back pain I want you to get up and do something you couldn't do before what we found is even earlier there was a student of mine he came into into one of the services and he couldn't bend his thumb and we said test it out and he said it was Tim who's here today and he said I didn't think it was gonna work so I just tested it out and as I tested it out pop and I could bend my thumb how, how many years or how long has it been 10 months he couldn't bend his thumb and pop in the service just the other night so just test just test it out we had miracles all over the house last night so just test out just start just just for my humor just do a little twirly whirly or something it's like do something to test your body out right now just do something to test your body out right now and if uh, if you're experiencing any improvements in your body any improvements uh, I want you to put both hands in the air and I want you to just wave at me quickly thank you Jesus thank you thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus yes Lord yes Lord yes Lord can everyone just celebrate let me tell you how it works it's actually it's through celebration that multiplication happens yes Lord Man. And, uh, and ma'am, do you mind coming up quickly? Why don't you come up quickly? I like you. You look great. Quickly. And do you mind chopping up on the stage for me? And just tell me what's happening. On the 25th of March, my daughter got married, and I fell off the porch, and I sprained the entire um, shoulder blade on my right shoulder blade. And then my vertebrae was out and affecting my rib. So the shoulder blade was healing. So I came last night and I received prayer and I was about 90%. Um, now the vertebrae felt it as they were praying and the Holy Spirit hit me. I felt it go back in. I no longer have the pressure in my rib. So the Lord healed me. You no longer feel that pressure in your rib. To breathe anymore. And it doesn't hurt to breathe anymore. Right. Let's give the Lord a praise. Oh, don't you love Jesus? She got 90% healed last night, and she got the last little bit healed out of her. So if you received a healing last night, just wave your hands at me quickly. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Man, that's just good news right there. Okay, so now what we can do is now we're going to pray. So if you're looking, if you need any healing in your body, I want you to raise your hand up quickly. And I want people that are around them to go, what's happening there? 
She needs some healing. Okay, raise your hand up if you need healing in your body. And I want those around them to go to them quickly. Doesn't have to be a student, but go quickly to them. And when someone's by you to, heal, to, to pray for you, I want you to put your hand down. So let me give you some instructions. Don't pray yet. Don't pray yet. Don't pray yet. Don't pray yet. So now what's going to happen? When you see any improvements, I need you to celebrate. I'll tell you what that sounds like. It sounds like clapping and it sounds like shouting. When you see any improvements, you need to celebrate. Okay, so spend, spend in five words, ask them how you, what's, what's the condition and how can you pray? And then, very simply, I want you to pray simple words. Just simple words. Don't get complicated. Just release the love of Jesus over them and just simple words. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. The pain's going down. Four, three, two, here it goes, two and one. And then I want you to ask them, hey, can you try to do something that you haven't been able to do before? And then get them to try that. Just get them to try something they haven't done before. Come on. Come on, Jesus. And if there's any improvements, I want you to start celebrating around them. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. That's awesome. That's awesome over there. If there's any improvement on you, start clapping. Just start clapping around the person. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Okay, now everyone look here. Everyone look here. Okay, so now, if everyone look here, stop your prayers. Stop your prayers. Everyone look here. If, if there was any improvements in your body after we prayed, any improvement at all, I want to celebrate it. If there's any improvement after we prayed, no one else, just these people. I want both your hands in the air and I want you waving at me. Come on, Jesus. Yes, God. 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 Man, that's just so good. Man, why don't you just shout out just in, just in, a, just in a couple words. Just shout out so our faith can be stirred. If it's a back... If it's a head, if it's my neck, just shout out what the condition is. Say that again. Your shoulders, shoulders getting healed on the right chair. What's happening over there? You're sorry? You're hearing. Your ears. You're hearing. That's funny because I couldn't hear it. That's amazing. Your hearing's getting better. Come up, come up, come up. Come up here. Come up right, right up here. Right up. I, we, I like the stage. And then just someone get behind her quickly. Yeah. So tell us what happened when you came in and what happened after they prayed. Um, my hearing just opened up and I haven't been able to hear. I've been hearing loss since I was a child. And um, my hair's got really hot and I, I hear. It's too loud. Whoa. Well, hold on. So you've had hearing loss as a child, and while we were praying, you said it, it, it got hot? Yeah, um, Paula um, laid her hands on me, and my ears got really, really hot, and they just opened up, and I could hear. Whoa. Like, it's really loud. <laughs> That's Jesus. My 
um, right here has, has probably 60% hearing loss and my other has 50%. So I can hear one-on-one, -on -one, but I don't Whoa. hear things when in a crowd unless it's loud on a microphone. So I, this is amazing. So. Wow. Praise Him. Praise Jesus. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Just open up your hands. Close your eyes. Holy Spirit, I pray that your fire would just rest on this beautiful daughter in Jesus' name. The same fire of God that came in her ears, I pray that fire of God would rest on her entire body in Jesus' name. We pray fire upon her, Jesus. Fire upon her in Jesus' name. The fire of God to rest upon her, God. God, I thank you that you're making a catalyst in her family. A catalyst for her family, God. A catalyst for her family, God. A catalyst for her family. Wow. Where's that lady with the shoulders? Why don't you come just tell me what happened quickly? Come tell me what happened. You can stand right here. Yeah. Okay, well, why don't you just speak into the. You'll do great. You'll do great. I just have um, double shoulder pain today, and uh, I have had lower back. So, is that a healing in the back there? Shoulders are, the pain's gone, but the back, I could feel heat, and uh, it, it got better. So let me just, so you came in with shoulder pain, and hip pain, and lower back pain. And then when they prayed, heat started coming in your lower back, and your shoulders got totally better, and how's your hips and your back doing? Okay, the hips and the back are a little bit painful. Okay, but all the shoulder pain went. And what, what are we talking about? Are we talking about a three? Are we talking about a five? Are we talking about a 10 pain? How painful? You work in words. Give me words rather than numbers. I have no idea. <laughs> ow. Ow, ow's a good word. And ow went to nothing. Is that right? That's a good, ow to nothing is great. Oh, why don't you open up your hands. God, I pray that you would heal her back. In Jesus, I pray that you'd heal her hips. In Jesus' name, the fire of God to rest upon her. All the glory to Jesus. All the glory unto Jesus. All the glory unto Jesus. And I bless you, man. There you go. There we are. There we are. Fire, God. There we go, God. All the glory. All the glory to Jesus. All the glory to Jesus. Fire, God. Wow. Yay. Anyone else, there was healings here. I just want to hear about it. Where's those healings? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, come. Come, come. Was that with the ankles yesterday? And what's happening now? So, I've had issues since I was, like, really little with both my ankles. The tendons are too short in the front for there to actually be, like, space between the joints. And weren't you up here getting healed yesterday? Yeah. yeah. Um, this one's at 100%. This one is about 95%. And so, but this one I had recently injured again, so okay. um, it's healing, but it's like... So, so what happened tonight? Because I know last night something radical happened. Last night I was probably at like 50 when I left, and then I came back tonight, and I was prayed for again, and it's pretty much like almost completely gone. Wow. So, so last night you are in a lot of pain. I remember last night you, you got on your tiptoes and they weren't shaking, and so you couldn't do that. Right. And so there was 50% healing, and you're saying tonight it got to 90% totally. So what is there anything that you couldn't do before, or you just can feel the pain gone? I can just feel the pain gone. Like, this one's still kind of hurting, but not nothing compared. Because it used to keep me up at night. Like, that's how bad they'd hurt. That's how bad they'd throb. And, like, there was points and times throughout my life when I was younger that my mom would take me to the hospital, and they'd do x-rays, and they'd be like, oh, she's fine, and then just send me home. Wow. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, man. We just praise you, God, for these healed ankles. We just praise you, God. Just open up your hands. God, I pray that you would mark her in Jesus' name. I thank you that you've called her to be uh, one that would be in a youth revival in Jesus' name, a youth revival. So, God, we ask in Jesus' name that you'd mark her with fire, that you would carry fire in a youth revival, God, and that you'd raise her up in a youth revival in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, shakara ba 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 ba. Is there any other healings where you like? I just want to share this testimony what God's done in my life. Quickly, come to me. Quickly, come, come, come. Quick, quick, quick. 
quickly. Oh, hey, my friend. So good to see you again. First of all, I want to share something. I just I got out of work at seven, and I and I I had an accident six days ago, and I fell, and I hit my head, my wrist, uh, and I came to church. I I, I wasn't going to come. I went circle around, and I said. I ended up parking up front. My excuse was going to be like, there's no parking. So I parked out across the street. I came here. <sighs> so I sat back there because I was in pain in my back. And when they were doing the worship, I was, I was, my pain was gone. Just, just in the worship. Oh, geez. I was able to clean some coffee. Somebody spilled some coffee back there, and I, I just realized that I was bending, and I was doing everything. And then this uh, young brother right there came up to me right now, and he climbed up the chairs, and I couldn't touch my wrist at all because I was in pain, and I'm pain-free too. So, Wow. 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 Wow, well, just bring your whole family. Where's your whole family? Bring your family. Where's your family? Is your, are your kids here? No. Or any of your children here? Okay. Okay. Well, if you're watching, boys, the, the Lord is... The, I remember prophesying over you last time, and I remember saying that the, the month of January is going to be very significant. I believe the Lord's opening up doors of favor for you in the month of January, and God's going to open up great grace for you guys. And I speak over you guys, I declare that your family will be one that will be known for revival. That your boys will be ones that will carry the power and the presence of God. And they will go into their workplaces. And I believe they're going to be vibe vocational, meaning that involved in ministry and involved in the workplace. And God's going to use them powerfully. He's going to use your family powerfully, God. So we bless them. Yeah. In six weeks, we're going to be open the food truck. Wow. I remember that. I remember. Being built right now. Is just... Come on, Jesus. So God, I just pray. Would you mark this family with favor in Jesus' name? Favor, God, in Jesus' name. Favor, God, in Jesus' name. Favor, God. More, 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 God. Favor, God. Favor, 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 God. Favor, God. Favor, 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 God. We just celebrate. We give you all the glory, Jesus, for the healings. All the glory, Jesus. All the glory that this place and this room would be known for healing miracles, Lord God. Healing miracles in this place. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Just turn all your affections unto Jesus and just give Him a praise right now. So if you're a student with us or you're a staff member here, uh, if you if we just need to give him praise. If you if you felt if you got any healing in your body tonight, if you know it's one, I need you to just wave at me so we can give you praise. We praise you, Jesus. We praise him. We praise him. Wave to me if you've got healing. We praise you, God. We praise you. We praise you. Right now. Right now. Opened up. Right now, right now, right now, opened up, right now. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. We give you praise. We give you all the glory. We give you praise, God. One ear just opened up right there. An ear just opened up right there. We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise and all the glory, God. We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. This is a house of miracles. This is a house of miracles. We give you all the glory, God. Ears are opening up in this place. Ears are opening up in this place. Ears are opening up in this place. Right ears, left ears, open in this place. Oh, we give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. Just praise Him. Praise Him. All the glory.
sha ta ta. What do you think about that, eh? Here's a good one. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna need about 15 of my students to go by the mission sign over there. For yeah, yeah. So if some of you guys can go over there quickly, my students. Yeah, some of my students are gonna go over there. And if you need healing in your body, if you need pr healing prayer in your body. Uh, there's, there's a grace in the room for miracles to open up. So if you need healing prayer or prayer, right there, we've got a little house of prayer. Everyone look, out, look into the missions corner and say, house of prayer. Okay. And then just, uh, it's tomorrow night we're going to be with you again. Tomorrow night uh, me and my fiery team are going to with, be with you. But my group of, there's a 50 of my students that are going home tomorrow night. And, uh, and I would love the 50 of my students to lay hands upon you. I just think it's a good idea. It says in the scriptures in Acts 8, 7, 17, it says that, uh, that they went and they laid hands and they were filled with the Holy Spirit. Uh, it's just a good idea. It's a really good idea to be marked with the fire of God. So I want to put some of my students... Can you guys put come up, some of my students line up here? Where's Urban? Oh, right there. Some of my students just line up over here. And my heart is that, this is what I saw in the spirit. I saw that as you went through, my students would get blessed too. And that there would be an impartation of this land on them and from their land on you. That it would be, a, it would be an impartation from this land on them and then their land on you. Okay, so you guys know the drill. You say fire. You say anything? Okay, so what we need to do is if you're feeling any of the fire of God on you, I want you to be the very first to come. come. So I want you to be first to come through. Yo, God's on you, man, fire. God's really on you. you. God's on you. And then if you need healing prayer or prayer, we've got some of my powerful students. Raise your hand if my students are free down there. Raise your, Kelly. Raise your hands. Sarah, Kelly. See, we've got some free people to pray if you need personal prayer or healing prayer right down there. Yes, God. From fire to fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apostolic anointing on you, Jeshu. This is a season of upgrades in the apostolic. Upgrades in the apostolic. Upgrades in the apostolic. Upgrades in the apostolic. If you need healing prayer, if you need personal prayer, we've got a, a prayer corner down there. And we got some students with their hands up waiting to pray for you. God, you're marking the leaders, God, of this place. If you need healing prayer, we got some students with their hands up over there that are available for you. Or if you need any personal prayer, right there. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Keep them coming. Yes, God. Yes, God. Fire, God. Fire, God. Fire, God. Fire, God. Fire, God. 
Fire God. Fire God. Fire God. Fire God. Fire God. Fire God. Fire God. Fire God. Fire God. Fire God. Fire God. Fire God. Fire God. Fire God. Fire God. Fire God. Fire God. Fire God. Fire God. Fire God. Fire God. Fire God. Fire God.